Hello everybody, this is Will from Gizmo China. Gizmo China has been invited into the Global Sources exhibition. There are so many great electronic products exhibiting today. Follow me to see some of them. The full name of the show is Hong Kong Global Sources Exhibition. It features a range of pavilions and activities, one-stop service to meet buyers and sourcing needs, and conference programs that help buyers and suppliers gain insights into the latest market trends. Simply put, it's a global B2B show where buyers and suppliers can meet face-to-face -to, -face to make deals. There are three phases of the exhibition, and the one we attended was mainly focused on consumer electronics and electro components. As a press, we're certainly not there to do business, we're there to cover the show live for you. We were there for a total of three days, and each day there was a good amount of traffic. Buyers and sellers from all over the world come together. Booths, big and small, were filled with our newest or most exotic products to attract buyers, so I want to share with you some of the brands or products that stood out to me. We saw this caribou at an e-bike booth. It's actually a snowmobile driven by a motor underneath to make it travel on the snow and the direction is controlled by the rims. A snowmobile like this may not provide you with a super powerful output, but it will surely bring a lot of joy to your family and friends. We found that many manufacturers have racing simulators all of their booths. For example, this manufacturer that sells racing cockpits has all the parts and racing car positioned just right. It's very immersive with a big screen in front. Then there was HKC's booth, whose cockpits were not as professional, but the ultra-wide monitor attracts a lot of attention. HKC thinks the 32 x 9 OLED screen is perfect for gamers. That's why they are letting buyers experience the racing game here, I guess. Our old friend Devon was also there. As you can see, their main focus is on pixel art products, and this time, the pixel art was embedded in various backpacks. The staff told us that they are now promoting this digital clock called Timeskate, which consists of five IPS screens that can display various customized images. It should still be quite suitable as a decorative item on your desk. Among the many booths, there was an area called the Gaming Experience Zone, which also impressed me a lot. In addition to keyboards and gaming PCs, there were many rare gaming products. For example, there was a gaming bed that could be bent, a gaming bunk bed with RGB, and even a control panel that could control the RGB lights in your home. We also found the Keychron Q3 Pro here. Like Keychron's other keyboards, the Q3 Pro has an excellent design and build quality with lots of customizable keys and knobs. It's a good keyboard, but unfortunately, we didn't have time to experience it in depth. So if Keychron staff see this video, we want to promote your keyboard. Please contact us. Check this out. Alice lay out a wooden keyboard and it's split, which is really unique. The manufacturer that made this keyboard is a brand called Echo. There are a variety of keyboards and switches from Echo, as well as keyboards co-branded with anime IPs they are very proud of, such as Naruto and Demon Slayer. I've also bought their keycaps before. They are affordable and beautiful. Fortunately, we met their global marketing leader at the booth, so let her give us an update on what's going on at Echo. Um, hi everyone, my name is Yiling. I'm in charge of the global market of Echo. And uh, our company sell and design custom mechanical keyboards. So the primary concept of our keyboard is that you can build everything from scratch. So you can um, pick your own base and uh, pick your own desirable switches and put on your keycaps, make it uniquely yours. And uh, those are our uh, flagship products here. And this one is our new magnetic switch keyboard. It uses our Hall Effect switches. And right here is a, a switch tester for the magnetic switches. It has six different levels. As you can see, different from mechanical switches, once you just press it a little bit, it will reset immediately and trigger uh, several actuations. So this is ideal for FPS gaming like CSGO and also for OSU, it was very helpful. And this is another product that um, we are selling uh, on Amazon that is a 5075B plus 
um, it's a gasket mount keyboard, so uh, when you type it, it's uh, very bouncy and uh, it has side RGB as you can see here. So we will be releasing the uh, wireless version as well uh, on our MOD007B. And we also have another brand called Monskeek and uh, uh, the magnetic switch keyboard for Monskeek is now in stock and it offers a wired version at this moment. And we will be adding more language support for the software um, and also um, we'll be uh, updating the firmware regularly to support more features. Yeah, so sure. Um, ACO has a very good reputation in the global market. I think you have seen so many um, a review of their keyboards. So if you're interested in more of their products, head to the link down below to get to know them. Yep. Uh, this is a brand called the Remax. Remax is a well-known brand. They have a lot of uh, electronic products in our collection. Let's see what they have and perhaps maybe interview some of the uh, uh, people in charge. Okay, here I'm in the booth of Remax and I have the manager of Remax here, Jerry. So Jerry, can you give us a uh, brief introduction of the brand the Remax? Yes. Hi, this is Jerry from Remax. We are the leading brand of the mobile phone accessories, more than 10 years experience. And now our product has covered more than 120 countries all over the world, with 2 million users across the world. And now daily, we have more than uh, five to 10 new products will be launched every week. And more than 13 to 15 new products will be launched every month. So this is our boost of the new, of the Global Resources Fair. Okay. Yeah. Sounds Remax is a very well-known brand in China and all over the world. And we have seen so many uh, products in this booth. So Jerry, can yes. you give us a, uh, some popular items from uh, Remax? Yes, of course. Here we have displayed the three main categories products on the booth for energy, audio, and uh, smart life products. So here I will introduce two uh, Airbus of the uh, new product to you. The first one is the TWS Airbus. This product is very similar to the original iPhone AirPods, but the size is smaller than the AirPods. And we have integrated the second generation and the fifth generation of AirPods on this product. And the second one is the AirPods with ANC and ENC functions. This one is also very hot in the European market. Mm. Yeah. Okay, and the third product is the power bank. This power bank is very simple and with three cables and the backside. So it's very easy for charging for your phone and also charging for the power bank. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So uh, I'm holding these two TWC earbuds. I can feel that these are high quality earbuds and I think they are, you know, very premium feel to it. And I can feel that um, it's the polishing and the quality must be uh, a lot better than some normal TWZ earbuds. So we do a lot of TWZ earbuds review, so if you want to see some of the uh, products review from this Glo uh, Global Sources show, let us know. Hey everyone, today TWZ earbuds has taken a big place in this exhibition and now we are in the uh, booth of Monster and uh, I have uh, the staff of the Monster, so can you uh, give us a brief introduction of the brand? Uh, yes. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Chapo uh, from Shenzhen Infinity. Infinity. Uh, we are the authorized manufacturer for the uh, Monster brand, and this brand is built, uh, founded uh, for uh, 40 years. Uh, it's, uh, we have a long history for the uh, products and uh, brands and the cultures. So, can you give us a brief introduction of the new models here? Okay. Yes. Of course. Uh, so. This is our new products and new models, the SK-07 and it's an uh, OWS and it's very popular in the market right now. Okay, this is the new model of the Monster Gaming headset. The special one is with the foldable microphone and this is uh, two mode 
One mode is music mode, another mode is gaming mode. If you pay game, open the gaming mode, then we'll be turn on the blue light. Right now, I'm here with Susan from Sidetrack. So, Susan, can you uh, introduce Sidetrack to us? Of course. And uh, we are Sidetrack electric bikes. And uh, our company is popular in uh, South America and uh, also the European country. And uh, also our products is mainly included the carbon fiber materials. So if you have any interest, you can feel free to send us. Okay. Yeah, uh, as I was walking around, I can see that the products from Sidetrack are very attractive. Uh, to my eyes, I think they are most suitable for um, a city or urban areas. So, Susan, can you introduce one or two hot popular items for our audience? Okay, our company's most hot selling product is the EMN6 and the EMN10. Uh, this product material is the high module carbon fiber and also the motor system is the buffer meat and also shifting is the Shimano. So our products, the most hot selling is the EM6 and the EM10. Hey everyone, I'm here in the booth of LV Sun. LV Sun is a recommended exhibitor in the charging station category. So here I'm with Marina. So Marina, can you give us a brief introduction of the brand and some of the popular products? Okay, uh, hello everyone. And uh, our brand name is LV Sun. L means long, V means victory, and the sound the shining sound. So uh, in Chinese, it means uh, uh, we are in progress every day. So, LV Sun brand is an international registered brand. We have over 20 years experience. So we are mainly focused on the PD charges, uh, the charging stations, uh, which is mainly, focused, uh, mainly for the laptops, uh, tablets, smartphones. And uh, for example, I can show you one or two items. Uh, okay, this one. Uh, this is a 240-watt USB charging station. Uh, you can charge six different devices at the same time uh, with, with the wireless chargers and the latest PD chargers and also the quick chargers. Yeah, it's very convenient to be used at, uh, at home. And uh, also we have, for example, we have uh, 10 ports USB-C charging station. Yeah, you can charge 10 tablets at the same time. Okay, and we still also have another one. This one is a 1000 watt USB charging station. Uh, it's mainly for the education uh, setting channels. You can put this charging station in the charging cart. So the teacher can charge 10 different uh, laptops or tablets simultaneously. Okay, after hearing so much from sellers, it's time to hear how buyers feel. We interviewed several buyers from different areas. Check it out what they are really looking for. Hi, um, now I'm here with Juan from Colombia and I'm going to ask him if he has got what he wants. So Juan, can you uh, give me a basic introduction of yourself? Well, I've been coming here for the last uh, almost 20 years. And uh, every time I come here, I see new products and uh, certainly we search what we're searching will almost uh, found it every time okay. we come here. Sure. So what exactly are you looking for this time? Oh, we're looking for innovation for some uh, things, audio, from the earphones, and uh, there's a, a lot of opportunities here. And we are looking for uh, accessories for uh, multimedia. Uh -huh. And uh, after that, we are going also to China for okay. SDA products. Okay. Okay, the fare is pretty good. Mm -hmm. We have found uh, most of what we want. Uh -huh. Okay, I think it's a fair which we come twice per year and uh, I think it's very interesting for all people okay. who are in this industry. Okay. Uh, actually, I work for like one of the leading uh, consumer electronics distributors and uh, importers in Russia. So uh, I'm looking for everything, for all kinds of interesting products mm -hmm. in like, all fields of electronics. Mm -hmm. uh, but probably like the uh, booming uh, right now for us a smart home. Smart home. Yeah, different mm -hmm. kinds of smart home. Probably most of the suppliers will be on the second part mm -hmm. of, the, of this exhibition. But uh, yeah, and I also will visit the second part here as well. Okay. Have you noticed any uh, difference uh, between the, uh, the exhibition from previous years and this year? I think the 
the visit of the serverless. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, the Chinese people and the factories are about the same, but I think the, the visit of the less. Also, I see that in hotel and other. So I think that the after COVID uh, mm -hmm. period is not exactly how it was before, mm -hmm. uh, before COVID, let's say. After three days exhibition tour in person, I was most impressed by the fast recovery of the trades. Although the exhibition was closed due to COVID-19 the year before, but you can see that people's enthusiasm for buying and selling things is growing rapidly. Looking at the people coming and going, I think global source exhibitions will be bigger and bigger in the future. The B2B industry will be more and more prosperous and the economy around the world will be better. I will have some China. See you next time.